Hey guys, today is November 20th, 2015. I'm Jake Baldino. Welcome to the Friday Show, where we talk about cool video game stuff that happened this week. The first thing actually isn't that cool. Deus Ex Mankind Divided has been delayed. Deus Ex was going to be releasing in February 2016, but now it's pushed all the way to August 23rd, 2016. And I really wanted to just bring this up because I think the moral of the story is this wouldn't have happened if we augmented our pre-orders, guys. <laughs> That's the only reason why I included that news. All joking aside though, I'm pretty sure Adam Jensen didn't ask for this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and in other news, let's talk about Star Wars Battlefront. Yes, Battlefront. That came out this week. Are you guys playing it? I'm enjoying it. I think it's pretty cool. That being said, it seems a little one note, but I still get a real rush of winning as the Rebels in Walker Assault. But whatever, that's besides the point. What the story is here is that we are getting Battlefront sequels. Now, we have talked about this in the past. This has been a thing that's come up. But after EA CFO had a talk this week, he actually said that the goal is to make more Battlefront titles. He admitted this while speaking at the USB Global Technology Conference, while also talking about developing other future Star Wars IP games. But he emphasized that they do want to make more Battlefront, which, I mean, I know, like, we talked about how this is inevitable. That's how things go but the fact that there's a $50 season pass that they're really banking on and that should be giving us a lot of content I hope it does I don't really hope because I didn't buy it but I'm hoping and I look at their model and I look at Battlefield and I'm hoping that they support it for a long time so maybe Battlefront won't become a yearly franchise I'm hoping maybe they give it two, give it a little more time to cook maybe add some more features and some better game modes because man that game has a lot of game modes and I barely play half of them it's the same thing with the talk of Destiny 2 you know me personally I feel like whoa slow down let's take it easy okay let's you know we have a long plan for these games let let them grow let them breathe a little bit but we do talk about battlefront a lot on this channel and on this show and i want to know what you guys think about the game and the fact that there might be a second one coming around the corner how does that make you feel i'm pretty sure i can guess but let's move into more happy things playstation and sony apparently not comfortable with xbox getting all the spotlight with the xbox one backwards compatibility have actually kind of put out a little bit of a playstation 2 emulation this wasn't thanks to some eagle-eyed gamers who realized that the playstation 4 battlefront star wars edition that comes with a bunch of older games like you know star wars bounty hunter and a jedi starfighter game these games aren't ports or remasters or games ported over to the playstation 4 software these are actually running playstation 2 games emulated on the PlayStation 4. People were able to figure these out because of a variety of reasons, but I linked below a video from Digital Foundry that really explains it really well and shows off exactly how it works. And I gotta say, it upreses and upscales everything really nicely and makes these games look almost totally new. That being said though, it is still technically emulation, which is really cool and that's kind of a look maybe at the future of what PlayStation 4 has planned. I really hope so because it just proves that it can be done. PS2 games can be emulated on the PlayStation 4. And we all know PlayStation 2 has a lot of good games. And in really the only tech news we have this week, Astro actually sent over a new pair of Astro A40's tournament ready headsets, which were released about two weeks ago. I've been playing with them and they're actually really cool. They sent them to me. I'm not obligated to say I like them or anything for transparency's sake, but I am enjoying them compared to the A50's I use on a daily basis. They sound much better. They have a lot of new improvements. I've just noticed some general quality improvements in terms of build and sound and actually the mic sound, which is what bothered me about previous Astro stuff. Most notably, a lot more customizable stuff like these are different ear cushions that you can swap out. These are noise canceling and uh, a noise canceling boom mic that's kind of used for more louder crowd oriented stuff like as if I was in a tournament playing which I never will be. You can also get closed back earpieces that seal in more noise. This is through the mod kit, this extra stuff I added. This is through their new tournament ready mod kit that adds these features and I'm really into it. I use these babies on almost a daily basis now. I know I've asked you guys a lot of things already though but I am looking forward down in the comments. Do you guys use gaming headsets or no? It took me a while to get used to them but now I use them all the time so let's talk. And this really crazy thing that popped up on my radar this week was a guy playing Grand Theft Auto on this $100,000 realistic rig setup thing. This is the 401 CR by Force Dynamics and it's crazy. It's this whole motion platform system that tilts and rotates and simulates the experience of being in a car and it's perfect for Grand Theft Auto. The guy demonstrating it drives a car, flips a car, goes in an airplane, goes on the roller coaster in Los Santos and even runs over some people like you do. It's the real deal. It's ready to go with a whole onboard computer, monitors built in, a 900 watt surround sound system and one of the most powerful force feedback wheels in the business. The whole thing simulates acceleration, cornering, and real actual vehicle orientation. When you turn in the game, you feel your body turning in real life. And like I always say when we bring up this stuff, I just love it because I love the legs people will go to experience a game in a new and exciting 
really crazy way. And speaking of cool shit, check out this crazy ass League of Legends cosplay. This is Aether Wing Kale from League of Legends and I got it from the cosplayer on the Facebook page, Elman's Cosplay. The real thing here is these set of wings that he actually built that are completely motorized and actually operable through an Android app. If that's not freaking crazy dedication, I don't know what is. And the, the weirdest thing is that he said this is his first cosplay ever. Are you freaking kidding me, man? I can barely even make a good Halloween costume. And now of course you guys know it's time for Fallout, the thing that we talk about the most on this channel. And you know what? Hey, whatever. The first thing we got to talk about this week is that modders are already in full swing, making the game even better than it already is because I'm really enjoying it. But one thing that I really didn't like about the game and that they are fixing thanks to a PC mod is the dialogue system. They changed the layout of it and gave it the classic look and also kind of gave you a better hint of what your character is actually going to say when you select that option. Pretty nice. And I also stumbled across this custom made Xbox One case made by the user DrumBlanket1 on Imgur or Imgur? Imgur? And uh, goddamn. Wow, I love bringing stuff like this onto the show because it's just crazy what people who are just fans of things can really go to the extent and what they can create because this thing is insane and I love it and it's really awesome and I really think this is so cool but I always wonder like how come we don't see this type of stuff get made for lesser known more cult niche following games like you know like you never see a god hand custom made console you don't see a custom Katamari PC case do you I mean hey maybe they're out there there's a hell of a lot of deviant art for Sonic the Hedgehog but hey that's 2015. But last but certainly not least, this is the thing I enjoyed the most this week thanks to a crafty PC player on YouTube, Cosmic Contrarian. He orchestrated this crazy battle between a hundred Brotherhood of Steel soldiers and a thousand Death Claws in the middle of a street. And it actually turned out to look really cool. Look at this. I can't believe this turned out really great. It looks amazing. I thought it was going to be some like shitty, crappy you know, buggy animation stuff, but it looks really amazing. But it's really cool when these systems work like this and it actually works out. If you do anything that crazy or that cool in Fallout 4, please definitely send it to us. I linked below a link to our weekly giveaway show that we do. You guys send us clips. You can find out how to do it down in the link. You guys send us clips, glitches, cool things you do in games. We pick the 10 best, give you guys a shout out, and the number one winner gets to win an Xbox One or a PS4 of their choice. So I really think you should do that. You know, free consoles. If you got one already, win another one, play with a friend. I don't know. What do you want me to tell you? What I do want to tell you, though, is that everything I talked about today, I linked below. Uh, most importantly, though, follow me on Twitter if you want to talk about video games. If you followed me already, hi, you're the best. It's been good talking to you guys. Or you can follow me on Instagram because nobody follows me on Instagram. I mean, I post pictures. Like, do people go on Instagram anymore? I don't know. But most importantly, like I've been saying throughout this video, I do want to hear from you guys in the comments. What do you think about everything that we talk about this week? Fallout 4, you loving it? Battlefront, you loving it? Maybe not. I don't know. Let's talk. And if you are new, clicking the like button helps me out so much. It lets me do this cool show. It lets me get this cool new set. Hello. Mwah. Um, but subscribing, okay, is the most important thing you should do if you're new because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Pizza's on me.